Welcome to the preview of the digital interactive notebook for the first geometry unit, Introduction to Geometry. This resource is a direct download to your Google Drive, and these are all of the files that you'll get. There will be an editable version, a Google Slides implementation guide, an answer key, the done-for-you notebook, printable notes just in case you have students that still need paper, teacher instruction videos for editing the notebook, and then the terms of use. In the editable version of the notebook, you have tabs all the way across the top for 12 different topics. You have a text box here so that you can add in your own title. And in the index, you can add which tab numbers correspond to which topic. You have all the same pages as the other notebook. And at the end, there's a blank page for you to add anything else that you want. In the done for you version, the title's already here. You also have links already set up to all the different tabs at the top. The second page in both notebooks is an instructional video for students on how to use their interactive notebook. The index is done for you. And then for the different pages, anytime that you see a fill in the blank, simply click over the blank and a text box will appear. Click again and then you're able to type a response in. On this particular page, students can also click in this box to add in their answers. And in the instructional video, it explains to students how to get lines to come up to put a line over top of the text. Every notebook page has these highlights at the bottom. So if a student wanted to highlight text, they simply drag and drop it over and then they could resize it so that their highlight fits the text. Throughout the notes, there are often text boxes over these blanks so students can type in their answers. So you can check their answers really quick. And then in this blank area here, students could add their work in one of two ways. One way would be to simply add a text box and then students can simply type in the problem and show their work each step of the way. The other option that students have is to insert an image of their work. So if they write it down on a piece of paper, they can take a picture of it using the camera on their device or by uploading a picture to their Google Drive. The proofs in this unit also include text boxes where students can add their answers. This unit has one drag and drop activity, but any drag and drop activity in any of the notebooks has directions that students can see and explains what to do. So in this one, students are dragging and dropping circles that act as highlights over corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, etc. 